Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another video. This month it's going to be Carve December and I'm going to do my very best to do as regular updates as I can. So here we go. I um, took a tray out of the uh, storage closet, put all my carving tools and items I might need on the tray, put it on the desk, and then I decided, well, I need to flip through my book. I made a book in 2017 and logged all my drawings, the stamping. Uh, I stamped in black and white, or black, and then I did some stuff with color. So that's what's in this book, is I'm just going over what's in it from the past. I think there is a second book because I filled up one and then I started another one. So this is just me flipping through to see what I've done in the past and how long it's been since I carved. And I did notice the last time I carved anything, I think was 2019, if I remember correctly. So I am very rusty, so don't expect great things um, because <laughs> I don't think I can at this point in time. And I start 2022 in great hopes that I will actually do more than what I think I'm going to do. So this is day one. I start out by getting out a piece of graph paper that I use to do the uh, book binding stuff. So I thought, well, I'll put it on graph paper. Make Maybe that'll make it more accurate. I have no design pre-sketched anywhere. This is off the cuff. And when I carve it, you'll see it really is off the cuff. So I use the art glitter glue because I'm thinking I want to make a semicircle or a little circle for a repeating pattern. And you'll find out what happens later on in the video. So I'm tracing it out with a number two pencil. Have to move the tray because honestly that thing is a clunker and it's in the way. So I make outlines and I do some doodly stuff on here and kind of in my mind come up with a design. Sort of. I tried really hard to come up with something and it did not go well. <laughs> I'm like a dog with a bone. I have to make this work. I've got to do this commitment. I have to do this. So I sketch, I erase, I sketch, I erase, and I add more stuff, and I take stuff away, and oh, mercy. And I think that by folding that paper in half, it's going to improve it. Take my word for it. It didn't get any better. <laughs> so now I'm coloring it in so I know where to carve. Now, I don't want to carve the black lines, I want to carve the white area. So that's why I'm coloring in so I know where not to carve. But honestly, <laughs> when I carve and you'll see, it didn't seem to make any difference. I've seen people use Posca pins and colored pins to warn themselves, don't carve here or carve here. That's what you're going to, you know, that didn't help me any at all. <laughs> Now I'm looking through old pieces of rubber. I find this one large piece that was two inches. I think it's two inches by four inches, but my um, piece of graph paper is two inches by two inches. So I press down on the, the graphite portion, the design side, you press it down onto the rubber and the graphite sticks to the rubber, which is great for an image transfer. It's not perfect, but it's a really good start. So I put it on there and I start carving. Now there are 40 minutes cut out of this video because I realized after I started editing that you can't see me carving it in the frame. I am out of frame the whole time and all you see is me flicking pieces on the board and putting it in a little trash bowl. You see nothing of what I'm carving and this is an improvement because I cut out the 40 minutes that was just me putting trash on the map. I it just, I don't know what happened. I, well, I do know what happened. I made, I tried to focus in on the video so you can see it better. 
And when I did that, I forgot that I needed to change where the main frame is on the video. And so that's 40 minutes that got deleted of me just, it looks like there's nothing going on in the video because I'm so out of frame. And even now you can see that some of this stuff is only on the edge. It'll get better. Well, better is a relative term. <laughs> All right, so I'm carving outside the graphite lines, the design, because I want the dark pieces to show up when I stamp it. So that's why you you um, carve in your head. You can decide, am I going to carve around the, the dark lines or I'm going to carve the dark lines? So this time it was carved outside the dark lines. So I'm done carving. And I decide now, see, at this point, you, you got to stamp it to see if it worked. I'm kind of hopeful because now I'm just going to cut the rubber away. I'm going to cut this thing in half, which goes well. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp it. I find a random piece of off cut paper and I stamp it. And I'm like, oh, mercy, that's so light. So let's try again. And I don't think this, this second one is much better than the first one. A little bit, not by much. So I keep trying. Because I want to see where it is I need to take out uh, raised edges that don't belong in there. So I'm looking around at it thinking, hmm, how can I make this better? Let's take more off. <laughs> Maybe that will improve the design. Take my word for it. It didn't improve it. <laughs> it just made it worse. Like I said, I haven't carved in a couple years. I'm very, very rusty. It's like I'm starting all over from the very beginning. I did take a class with Julie Fenfei, but evidently all that knowledge has leaked out during COVID. And I've forgotten everything I learned. I do have her book. So I may have to go back and, and um, take a look at the book to help me remember some of the stuff that she taught in the class. And there were other people in the class that taught things too. But honestly, I can't remember who taught the class other than Julie. And that's that. So I'm going to stamp it. I took the little parts off and I'm going to stamp it again. And I'm going to try again to do like the repeating pattern thing to see what it would look like. I'm not really pleased with it. It's not horrible, but I can't turn it around to make the stuff match because I didn't do it the way I was taught. None of the pieces match. When you turn it around, none of the stuff matches. It doesn't get any better just because I turned it around to the other side. I'm looking at it and I'm really disgusted. When when I take a look at it, I am so disgusted. I'm like, oh, you know better than this. What are you doing? You you just you really do need to start all over. Looking, looking. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Okay, I seem to have lost some of the footage on the video here. All right, so evidently the computer stalled for a second. But here I am st um, stamping again. Thinking that if I change the direction of the stamp, it's going to improve it, but it did not. And I'm thinking some more. What am I going to do? I need to fix this because this looks really bad. All right, so. Well, my brain went into overdrive and I'm thinking, okay, now if I flip it over and color the side that's the opposite, like on the back side of the graph paper, that the two sides will match if I flip it over. So I'm going to get that second piece of rubber and I'm going to flip over, I think I uh, go over it with pencil again to make the graphite dark again so I can rub it on that other piece of rubber that I cut off in the very beginning, well, after I finished carving it. 
let's see if that if I'm telling you the truth here. Oh well, I'm still fiddling around with this, thinking that taking more off is going to improve it. Then I'm going to try again, stamp, see if it improved it any at all, and I, I bet you can guess that the answer is no. <laughs> still looks the same. I'm ever hopeful. So I'm going to take more off. <laughs> you know that saying when you cut wood, measure twice, cut once? Kind of applies to the rubber because once you take it away, nine times out of ten, or 99.9% .9 of the time, you can't put it back. I have glued rubber back to rubber to change the design, but it was like a sliver. This is too far gone. It, we're, we're past the point of no return. Okay, here I am looking at the second piece going, well, if I flip that paper over and do it the opposite or the mirror image, I can make it work. See, look, the brain is trying to go in gear. And I try again. I try to do it again. All right, we're going to look at it one more time. How do we flip it over to make it work? Can't do it this way. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to rub it and see if I can get any leftover graphite on it. There won't be a lot, but it'll be enough to cause me problems. <laughs> like the false hope that I can make it work. And there we go. So it's light. So the second rubbing is not as dark as the first. So I'm putting it together trying to think how I can make the design work to make a repeating pattern. Oh, mercy. And I'm fooling around with it more. I move it around like a chess piece. And now we've decided that we're going to color in all this stuff again. And I'm going to see if I can flip it over to the other side of that second piece of rubber. Because I'm not really sure that the, the one that I just got done rubbing on there, the very light color imprint, is going to work. So I'm thinking I'm going to flip that one over and do it on the other side of the rubber of that second piece. I'm going to color, 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 color. At least I know how to do that part, right? I am so hopeful. I haven't given up. I'm determined to make this work. I am nothing if not determined. You know, one time I tried to fix a piece and I carved so much off of it. I completely took the design off of the rubber because I was trying to fix it and thinking that taking away, taking away, taking away would improve it. It did not. Well, it did. It did improve it because then I never saw the design ever again that I didn't like. Is that considered an improvement? I don't know. I'm just coloring away. And while I'm coloring, I'm thinking, this is not exactly what I signed on for. I don't know if I can make this work. I've not used any of the principles that I learned in the class that Julie Fenfei Balzer taught. And all those other lovely people in the class. And I think I did take the class in 2019. I'm looking at it thinking, okay, let's see how we can make this work. I remember every moment of doing this and how much I wanted it to work and how much I doubted I could make it work. Okay, now we're going to try to erase the design because the other side of the rubber has a mark in it, a big chunk that looks really bad on it. And I thought, no, nope, can't have that in the design. That's really going to screw it up. So I'm trying to erase on an eraser. <laughs> And I am determined. I am determined. So now I think, okay, so let's try a baby wipe. So I get the baby wipe out, and you're going to see what happens. Not much. Oop, nope, I can see already from I'm rubbing away, not going to work. It's not going to take the graphite off. It might make it less dark. Okay, now we're going with the alcohol spray because, you know, <laughs> I have to make this work. 
I spray it on the baby wipe and I rub it some more. And I rub it really hard. And it gets a little results, but not exactly what I was looking for. So as I'm rubbing, I'm thinking, how can I salvage my project? We're going to salvage by rubbing harder. <laughs> and we just rub some more, some more, some more. And it does get lighter and it gets better. You can't, I don't know if you can see the faint design on it still, but um, there's, you can still see the design <laughs> from the graphite. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Tell me you've never done silly stuff like this. All right, and I'm going to pat it dry with my hand like that's going to improve it. And I kind of pat it on my hand. <laughs> I have paper towels right there. Do I use them? No. All right, we're going to flip this thing over and we're going to try this again. We're making sure the graphite's down. And we're going to try to do this again with a semi-dry piece of rubber. <laughs> And I'm rubbing and I'm thinking, oh my word, I'm filming this and how am I going to salvage my project? I don't know. Maybe determination is not one of my better qualities. Oh wait, look, it makes a nice, a nice rub. Nice transfer, design, design transfer. Now I'm going to turn it around going, oh, it's going to work this way. Uh-huh. Not exactly. But I'm a few brain cells short of a good project, and I start carving. I have no explanation. I think I was just feeling that you know, I'm trying to do my December, my Christmas book and then trying to do Carve December. So that's two different projects a day for the next 31 days. And I'm feeling the pressure already. And this is only day one. Wait till we get to 15 or 16 and I totally lose my mind. I'm having to swap projects out off the desk. Push the Christmas stuff aside, bring the tray out, unload all the carving stuff, pile it back on the tray, put it back on the floor until I need it the next day. I'm going to carve again around the graphite parts. And I'm trying to be more careful this second time than I was the first time because I could see where I got a little careless the first round. So I'm trying to be a little more deliberate. The goal is to make the second one look better than the first one. Just a reminder, not every goal in life is reached. <laughs> and I'm going slow and I'm turning it on the mat like I was taught in class. Just go slow and turn the rubber. That helps to make the circles. And uh huh. At least this time, you can see the the carving that I'm doing that's in frame. <laughs> I should get credit for that at least. All right, so I get finished carving this. You're probably not going to see the end. And then I decide, well, let's try it out on the paper. I put it in the book. I got the jelly plate out and I put um, blue paint down first. Then I did the stamping. And guess what? It doesn't look so bad. 
All right, guys, I will see you later.